a boom ski boom ski boom ski Alrighty guys, I've been promising you guys some tips and tricks videos and I'm finally delivering. This is my series called Monkey in the Middle. Why am I calling it that? I don't know. I thought it was kind of cute. It's all about being a middle blocker. Enjoy. <laughs> Hello, people of the internet. I'm Key Michael, professional volleyball player, Olympian, and monkey in the middle for the past 20 odd years or so. So there's a lot to learn about being a middle and I didn't think I could put it all, all my years of experience into one five minute video. So that's why I came up with the idea of a series. So in this first video, I'm just breaking it down. What does it mean to be a middle in volleyball? All right, so if you've been a middle for your entire career, you probably know most of the pros and the cons, the fun bits and the gripes that we all have. So as we're going along, if there's anything that rings true or just makes you go, oh, they're just so, uh, yes, yes, I am feeling that feeling. Let me know in the comments because then we could just have a good old fashioned whinge fest <laughs> together. But if you're new to volleyball and you're thinking, do I want to be a middle? Is it right for me? Coaches are kind of trying to push me in that direction, but I'm just not sure. Maybe this video will clarify a couple of things for you. Here are five truths about being a middle. Number one, monkey in the middle. Do you guys remember that game when you were a kid and you were in the middle and all your friends were around you and they were throwing the ball around and they were trying to keep it away from you and you were trying to catch it and you know, half an hour could go by and you literally haven't even touched the ball and it's super fun, but it's super frustrating at the same time. That is what it's like to be a middle in volleyball. <laughs> Sometimes you just feel like a chicken with your head cut off. That expression sounds weird now that I'm a vegetarian. Basically just like, you know what I mean? Like running around, like, ah, don't know what's going on. Yeah, that feeling. But that is kind of the vibe. I mean, you jump, you land, you move to the right, you jump, you land, you transition off, you jump, you land, you turn around, you set the ball, you cover, you jump. You, you literally always just like, and maybe you can go an entire point without even touching the ball. So patience, young grasshopper. Number two is you are not an attacker. So I don't think that's true, first and foremost, but I've had so many coaches that have said to me, your main role is blocking. And that's great, but the irony of that <laughs> is you still have to be ready to attack literally 100% of the time. And I don't mean just yelling super loud or making that fake arm swing, which by the way, is not fooling anyone. It just looks really amateur and the ball is already out on the antenna. Why are you swinging? You didn't get the ball. I digress. What I mean is you have to convince your setter that you're ready for the ball. You have to convince the middle on the other side of the net that you're ready for the ball. You have to convince the entire gym that you're gonna get the ball, even though you probably won't. But when you do, you have to kill it. <laughs> you will literally, almost always have a one-on-one -on -one block. So everyone in the gym is expecting you to kill the ball. So that's fair, right? Okay, a simple wrong would have done just fine, but the Number three, mindset over matter. Surviving in the middle is all about confidence. So you're gonna get beat by a ball that's too fast out to the pin. You're going to get tricked by the setter into thinking she's setting one way and she's actually setting the other way. You're gonna get berated by your teammates for not passing a perfect free ball. But keep in mind that libero who is laughing at your platform, she can literally only get her tiny, tiny fingertips over the net. Or the setter who thinks you're really clumsy and is always trying to get you out of her way. She would never be fast enough to move across the entire net and cover it in block. We're all beat. We're all built differently and we all have strengths and weaknesses and different body types. Height, weight, arm strength, leg strength, speed, agility, jump height. Volleyball is a sport that caters to different kinds of athletes and you can be thankful that there is a position specifically for your body type and your strength. So just laugh off those middle pepper jokes and just let the entire gym know next time you absolutely stuff block a pipe attack. Number four, recenter your chi. So by definition, you're in the middle of the court and everything is going on around you 360 degrees. 
So you literally have to have your head on a swivel and a whole lot of patience. Sometimes it can feel like the game is just going a million miles an hour around you and you get kind of thrown off and confused. So every time the ball goes back over the net, just get back into your base, get back in the center and just take a minute to have a little breath, recenter yourself and then explode back into your blocking footwork. <laughs> It's just a tiny little minuscule little moment in time that you have for yourself, but it makes all the difference in feeling like you're in a bit of control in a position that's otherwise kind of chaotic. <laughs> Number five, you the best. So last but not least, you just need to know that middle blocker is actually the best position. <laughs> you the man, no you the man, no you the man, no you the man. I know I'm a little bit biased, but you get the big blocks. You get the three meter kills. You only have to play defense like one rotation in, in a set. Okay, I'm obviously a little bit biased, but if you can embrace those kind of annoying things that I already just talked about, you can really have a lot of fun in the middle. So middles, let me know in the comments, what is your favorite thing about being a middle? I would say for me, it's probably when you get a really good stuff block because I don't know why, like pfft, just feels real good right just bah -bah. so leave me a comment and meanwhile i am gonna get started on filming video two of this series which is all about blocking so if it's already done i'm gonna link it somewhere but if it's not done yet there are some equally awesome videos that you can watch on this channel so hit the like hit the bell and subscribe if you're a middle Okay, fine, we'll let anyone subscribe. You don't have to be middle. Because I got lots more videos like this for you guys. I'm gonna be bring... I'm gonna be bringing in some experts from other positions to try and break down those positions for you and give you their tips. I'm not gonna try and break down how to be a Libro because I literally have no idea and I've only ever played middle my whole life, so not even gonna touch that with a 10 foot pole. But I do wanna help you with your games, so look out for more videos and I'll see you next time.